Good morning, friends. How are you guys? It is like 10 o'clock right now. I got up at 8 o'clock in the morning because our plumber came. I didn't even get a chance to brush my teeth or wash my face. Just opened the garage because he had to fix our tankless water heater because it started shaking or something. No, it didn't shake. It was the little thermometer thing that measures the PSI. I don't actually know what I'm talking about. I just learned so much over the last two days. When you're a homeowner, you start learning so many things that you did not know how to do because when we were renting, you don't worry about little things like this. Like anything goes wrong, you just call your management or your landlord and they come and take care of it for you. I'm very, very grateful that we didn't have to replace the whole entire water heater. I was really, really nervous about that because they're quite expensive. I swear to you, it's one thing after another. Because then our water, no, our food disposal in our kitchen, it got jammed. Something got jammed in it. So the guys that did our water tank today was so nice enough to come in and fix our food disposal. So I woke up this morning and I was like, oh my God, happy Monday. I haven't been able to do the dishes the last 24 hours and this is what's going on. So I wanna clean the kitchen today as well. I was so nervous that I had to replace the food disposal thing too. Everything is just money. Everything is literally money. Hello friends, it's been a few hours later. Today honestly has just been like a slow work day. This week is quarter two tax payment. So I usually take this time to review how quarter one was um, and then quarter two and then prepare for a quarter three and four. I also like to go through like my statements and my budgets, my finances, make sure everything is good compared to the previous years. Today's been pretty slow. I really haven't done much. I'm also um, looking over videos that Carlos just finished, like, finished editing. He did crazy editing last week. He did like multiple videos because we had our normal content that had to go up and then we had partnerships that we were working on. So it's been a crazy week, but I think next week will be more chill and relaxed for us. And let's go to McDonald's because, so about three years ago, I got obsessed with McDonald's iced coffee, right? But then they started making it really plain and I like mine to be like a legit iced coffee where it's not too sweet. I can still taste the coffee, um, but it's still got that creaminess to it. And I finally realized or figured out what I should be saying when I order to get my iced coffee to be perfect. So we're also gonna head to McDonald's. Look at my new phone case. <laughs> I just got this phone case on Etsy for like $14 and I've been wanting this for so long, like literally all year. I saw it for the first time last year on TikTok and I could not find it, but it is a frying pan with an egg on it. This is my phone. <laughs> They also, I'll link this down below for you guys. Um, they also have one with like a lobster, one with a crab. You can do one piece of bacon. You can do this uh, sunny side up egg. You can do a bigger egg. You can do a chicken wing. There are so many options. Hopefully the Etsy shop is still available um, whenever I post this video, but I'll link it down below for you guys. And then I also got this phone case. It's a flip flop. I thought this would be so cute for summertime. How cute is this you guys? It's a legit flip-flop. You put your phone in here and you can put your hands through the flip-flop and it has like a cute little flower. What did I get started with? Can I get a um, medium iced coffee? What flavor? Um, just the regular. Can I get um, extra cream with that? Extra ice and extra liquid sugar? Yes! Oh my god! Oh, it tastes so good! For a while, I was really second guessing it, but oh my gosh, I cannot wait. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait to let Carlos try some of this. Oh, the crows are eating what was left of the McDonald's. Should I give them a McDonald's? Let me give them a McNugget. No, don't fly away. I was going to give you a McNugget. Dang it. I was going to give the crow a McNugget. He looked hungry. Oh, they moved over there. Friends. 
friends, Carlos and I are having uh, dinner together, I guess you could say. Early dinner. I didn't get to have my smoothie yet, so I'll make my smoothie a little later because um, I have to get some work done. But we are doing fire noodles. This is our favorite meal together. Uh, fire noodles with pork belly, and then we eat it with a bunch of vegetables. We have lettuce, cucumber, and uh, cilantro leaves today because that was from my pho that I made a few days ago, and I need to finish that. And then we're drinking Arizona green tea blueberry. Looks so good. Look at the noodles. Wow. Look at the pork belly Carlos made. Wow. I got my package from Abercrombie. Last week I got my jeans and I think I bought a skirt. And then in here I finally was able to get my hands on their dress. That's really, really popular. Everybody has them on TikTok and there was a huge sale. I don't know what kind of sale it was. I think, oh, you know what? It was a Memorial Day sale. I totally forgot. It was a Memorial Day sale and the dresses are usually really expensive. I think it's a lot of money. It's like $120 and I was able to to get my hands on the dresses for $60. So I was really excited about that. However, I kind of just had to wiggle around the sizes. So Abercrombie carries petite, regular, and tall. And I was able to get like an extra large, but in a regular or a tall. So hopefully it's not too long on me. But I think I'm gonna try all of the Abercrombie stuff on tomorrow with you guys. And then you guys can let me know what I should return and what I should keep. Hopefully they all work out because it was honestly great pricing. I am heading to McDonald's now. We're gonna get an iced coffee. I'm so excited. Actually, I might grab it on the way back because I have to go to Lowe's to get nails to hang this mirror that I bought last week. All morning, I literally just got work done. So this is like kind of my first time out of the house. I also have been running into this problem and I don't know if you guys can help me with it. It would be amazing if you could. Lately, over the last few months, I've been dealing with oily hair and I usually don't deal with oily hair because I'm a really dry person. But for example, I washed my hair Sunday night and yesterday was Monday and today's Tuesday and my hair is already oily and I want to change my shampoo because maybe it's the shampoo, but this usually doesn't happen to me. Usually I can go like two or three full days without having oily hair. And I feel like even yesterday when I woke up, like by yesterday, by last night, I felt like I was already getting there. But today I woke up and it is oily. I don't know if you guys can see that. So if you have any recommendations on shampoo and conditioner, please let me know. I'm also somebody who loves it separately. I don't like the two-in-one. Carlos loves like the head and shoulders two in one and I think that's like I can't do it I can't do it I love conditioning my hair and letting that set while I like braid my vagina hair or something so let me know in the comments down below if you have any good recommendations because I've never dealt with this before I found these at Lowe's I think these are what I'm looking for the mirror is a hundred pounds so this says hangs up to a hundred pounds and there's four in here these anchors look pretty hardcore and then this one is seven Five pounds so I think I I think I'm right I was doing my research and I'm pretty confident with these I still need to hang that picture frame that I got at Target last week and on the back are D rings so I think that these will do these seem a little short though I'm looking for something a little bit longer but oh my gosh you guys I'm sure this is how Carlos feels when he walks into a Sephora this is overwhelming there's so many things here oh my gosh friends we have to head to Target right now so do you guys remember last Last week I bought this picture frame from Target. It's the Studio McGee collection. Also, how cute is this phone case? It's a flip flop. Okay, so when I bought it last week, it was $85. It's on sale right now, 50% off for $42. $42.50, it's 50% off. So I'm thinking the frame that I have, I haven't unboxed yet. It's still sitting at my house. So I'm gonna leave it at my house. I'm gonna go to the store, buy it for $42.50, and then tomorrow bring the other frame back and return it and get my $40 back. That's what I'm gonna do. So we're gonna head to Target. And while I'm at Target, I might look at the shampoo that Michelle recommended for oily hair. She's been using, she used to use, I think, L'Oreal. It's either Pantene or L'Oreal, I can't remember. But now she uses Nexus and she says it's been pretty good. So she just sent me the link, I'm gonna go try it. But first we're gonna go get this picture frame because it's 50% off and I wanna get my other half. <laughs> Does anyone else do this? I just bought it last week too. Literally last week. Oh my God. This car is really big. Yeah, I just bought it last week and I wanna save money wherever I can. There it is. Oh my God, this is on, oh my 
Ugh, I'm so mad. The freaking drawer is on sale for 175. Oh my god, what do I do? Can't do anything now. It's already built. 50% off. You're kidding. 175. Good morning, you guys. I just woke up. It's one. <laughs> Perks of working from home, <laughs> waking up at one. I did go to bed at, I think, three o'clock, just looking over some stuff. Yesterday was, actually I feel like this whole week hasn't been very fun for me. It's been a lot of like the business stuff behind the scenes. So I haven't really been picking up the camera or really doing anything. So I apologize. Some weeks are more boring than others. I'm sure you guys can relate. Not every single week we're doing something. I am, however, really excited for this weekend because I'm having a girls weekend with Michelle. I'm going to get my hair done. You guys know I go to get my hair done every six weeks. So Michelle and I always make it a priority to do a girls weekend together. But I don't think that vlog is gonna go up until the end of next week because I kind of have been interested in doing an Amazon favorites video but I don't know I'm using my say foundation if you guys have not gotten your hands on this you're missing out this is the say glowy super skin foundation I'm in the color 8 it is so so good you guys luminous has great coverage reminds me a lot of the Giorgio Armani luminous silk which is probably my number one favorite foundation it's just so beautiful I feel like you could get to like medium coverage with this especially with powder and everything over it sits on your face so so nicely gives you a really nice glow I'm really really in love with it it's probably one of my favorite things right now I'm gonna go in with some primer I'm gonna use my NYX Hydra touch this primer has been my favorite for so long I think back when I lived at my mom's house honestly oh I don't know what's on the agenda today I want to take it slow because it's not that I'm sick I just I feel drained I want to take it slow today oh I do want to try on some of my Abercrombie stuff actually not some I got a lot of Abercrombie and Fitch jeans so if you guys are my size or maybe you're just interested in buying Abercrombie and Fitch who join us oh my gosh brothers blocking the doorway so you can't get in huh is that what you're trying to tell mama is that what you're trying to tell mama come come Cooper you can do it come on Cooper so excuse me, brother. <laughs> My babies, they're so cute. Hi, honey, how are you? You are lonely in the living room? So if you guys have been interested in Abercrombie and Fitch in general, I will, I took the bullet for us. I took advantage of their sale and got all the jeans that I could get myself, get my hands on. But as you guys know, all the sizes are always out because they are so, so popular. Abercrombie & Fitch honestly made like the best marketing comeback ever. But I also got like, I think two dresses and a skirt. So if you are my size or you're just genuinely interested, this is gonna be great. Please let me know what I should keep in return. Hi, Bubba. Hi. How's your haircut? Wait, I'll close my eyes. Tell me when it's open. It's short. <gasps> I like it. That's good then. Do you like it? Yes, I do. Do you feel better? Yeah. Your hair grows so fast. I know. You wore my crew neck. It feels dirty. To get a haircut. I'm gonna wash it. <sighs> I like it, baby. You look uh, nice and breezy. Hello, this is Rocky, AKA old man. Oh. <gasps> I'm good, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. I understand now why people were racing to the Abercrombie website to buy this dress. Oh my God, I almost ate. Guys, wait, let me move all of my... I am manifesting a bigger room for the next house that we move into for the studio. I freaking get it, you guys. I freaking get it. Wait, let me see what size I got. Ah, I love doing try on hauls with you guys. Okay, so this whole haul will be Abercrombie and Fitch. We're gonna see what the hype is about. I've only tried on one pair of jeans from them and that was actually really freaking nice. Let me see what size this green dress is. The unfortunate thing is that it's, things on the website are always sold out. Like majority of the sizes and things like that. So I would just like keep an eye out Okay, this green dress, I got a large. Yes, I got a large. I guess I got, I got like a regular large and it fits me 
perfectly. I feel like it's so pretty. Oh my God, it feels so good. They are a little bit on the expensive end, so I always wait for a good sale. Like I got this for 60 or $65. It's originally $120. It's just too expensive, like too much money. Wait for a sale. They always have sales. But this is the dress. Oh my gosh, I feel so pretty. You can really like go to lunch with this. You can also go to a wedding. You can dress it casual or dress it up. It's adorable and it has pockets. How cute is this? Oh my goodness, this is the back. The back has the stretchy material. When I first put it on, I was like, oh my god, it seems kind of tight, but the back actually stretches a lot. Let me put on these heels. I am too old these days. <laughs> I am too old and not that like 30 is old, but I feel as if I'm like over that stage where I wear those long stiletto heels. I always do these kind of like mini heels now, but these shoes I think I got at Forever 21 and they're just so cute. I have them in multiple colors, but they give me a little bit of height but I can still walk all day in them so I go for like comfort now that I'm older but this is what it looks like how freaking cute is this dress okay next one. Oh my goodness it's too good let me put the heels back on I really wanted this print and I also wanted this other print that was like this but it was more of like an off green olive color, but they didn't have that in stock. So I went with this blue one. I thought this blue one was just so beautiful. This is in a large tall. So I was kind of scared that it would be really long on me because I'm a short gal. So this is a large tall. Fits me perfectly, but it's just a little longer. So let me show you guys. I feel like you can't even tell the difference. Like it obviously is a little bit longer than the green one, but it's still so beautiful. Even if I'm not wearing it with heels, it's not touching the ground. It's actually the perfect length for me. So if you're five feet, we still can get away with the large tall, you guys. It's the perfect length. I can still wear flip flops and wear this to Target or whatever it may be. Yeah, the large is really nice. I'm actually really glad I didn't do an extra large, friends, because I think the extra large would have been too big. So a large was perfect. I'll go ahead and put all of my measurements down below in case we're the same size. I know it's so much easier when you have actual body measurements because then you can kind of base it off of yours and it'll be easier to shop online. But yeah, same dress, just different pattern and I, I love it. I think it's freaking beautiful. It lays on me perfectly. Like look at that, my feet are right here. So cute. I feel like one day if I were to get pregnant, I think it would be so cute too. Let me see. Like you guys know what I'm saying? This could also be a cute, sorry the worst baby bump I've ever seen. I think this will be such a cute pregnancy dress as well. Oh my God, how adorable. I'm obsessed. I feel like I could have gone a medium with this. Sorry, I just put something random on for a top that I had in this room. But this is a skirt also from Abercrombie. The back here is stretchable. This skirt is new, so they should have it in stock. And I actually really like it, but I think I went too big. I got a large, and usually I'm a large or extra large, but I feel like I want it to fit like that. Oh man, how do I do? I have one of those like Amazon ooh, things. Maybe I can just move the butt. Ugh, but that would look weird. Was I a medium? I feel like I could have gone for a medium. The one I'm wearing right now is a large, but I feel like I could have gone for a medium. So the cool thing about this is that it's actually a skirt. So there's shorts under. I love skirts. They're just so comfortable to wear. Yeah, I so it looks like this right now, but I want it to like really cinch in my waist like this. I think that looks more flattering. Oh my God, this skirt is so cute. Okay, I feel like I'm gonna buy a medium. Keep this for now. Let's buy the medium and see if that fits better. Cause this is freaking adorable. Oh my God. Yeah, let's, I'm gonna get a medium. This is a large and I just feel like it fits perfectly, but it could, it could be better. Next option, I got these large drop trousers. I wanted shorts that were more sophisticated and I could dress them up. So these are it. I think it's kind of hard to see because they are black, but they're basically like pleated large trousers and they're so cute. I got the size large and something I've noticed while trying these items on, Abercrombie and Fitch sizing chart is extremely accurate unless the product itself just runs big. Like for example, this did fit me perfectly, but I think that this skirt individually just runs a little bit bigger than usual. These trousers are so cute. They have pockets in the front and they're pleated in the front as well. You can really dress it up or down. I feel like I also love these because they're not too short. I've never been like a short shorts kind of girl. They make me feel uncomfortable just because I have like thighs that are big so they 
rub. So I really like this because I can wear it with like a button down. I can wear it with some nice sneakers or dress it up for dinner with some heels. It would be so cute. Like I have heels here and like this would be adorable just to like, you know, you get the idea. I actually really like this. I only got one color, so now that I know that it fits me perfectly, I can get more. This is also the same situation, but instead of very nice trouser material, like the previous shorts, these are linen. Linen is a little bit more casual. You can kind of just dress it down a little bit more. I got this color. I like the feel of it. I just feel like it makes my butt look sad. I don't know. I, I feel like <laughs> it doesn't flatter my behind. Do you guys think I should keep this one I don't think it looks good on me but I did want kind of shorts that were a little bit more casual like this with like a white button down but I feel like I'll just go for the more dress up shorts what do you guys think maybe also this color is accentuating my be belly more I feel like I can't go light until I lose kind of just like the the belly part here I don't know what do you guys think I'm not too sure how to feel about this one these are the mom shorts, but I sized up. So usually I'm a size 32, but this one I got a 33 because 32 was sold out everywhere. And it still fits me, but it is a little bit looser and more movable, and I don't have a problem with that. These are called the high rise mom shorts in the curve love size 33. They're cute. They have a little split on the side and I like them. I do wish they were tighter because I feel like if they were tighter, they would make my butt look just a tiny bit better. But I think I'll keep them because I'll just wear a belt. Let me just wear a belt with them and I think that'll be so cute. Oh, I love their shorts. I just wish it wasn't all sold out, you know? Like, why is everything sold out? Alrighty, these are the jeans. I love them. These are the 90s straight jeans in Curve Love, I believe. My boobs in the way. Curve Love, I'm in the size 30. 32. See, 32 just fits me better. And look at that, you guys. That looks so nice. Hi, babe. Look, aren't they pretty? Yeah. Oh my gosh, I love them. Oh, they're so cute. I'm pairing it with like heels, and they're perfect on me, but without heels, they land on me perfectly too. Yeah, these are really nice. And I like this little split here. It's making me feel very Gen Z. All right, you guys, these are the high rise curb love. 90s relax. I don't know how I feel about them. Actually, they're kind of fun. They're kind of fun. I don't know if you guys can see. They're just more relaxed at the bottom. They're more flared. I've seen a lot of people wear these with like sneakers, but I don't know. So I have them with heels right now. Let me put on sneakers and see. Okay, so, oh, they're like, they're supposed to be relaxed. So I have sneakers on this foot, my right one. These are platform Adidas sneakers. Yeah, they're kind of cool. I think it's good to have like a pair of relaxed jeans, huh? I don't know, does it make me look short? I think it's good to have one of these, but I shouldn't buy more. I don't know, this is what they look like. A little looser in the back. I just got my delivery. Oh my gosh, you guys, I've been waiting a whole week for these. They are beef jerky. I just opened this one to try and it's so good. The brand is called El Ranchito and they're based in New Mexico. I believe it's like a family owned business, but they make crunchy beef jerky because I hate nothing more than soft beef jerky. It just does not taste good to me. I hate the ones that are sold at the gas station. I like them dry. I like them crunchy. So they make specifically crunchy beef jerky. I'll link it down below. The brand is El Ranchito. So I got the original flavor. I also got the red chili flavor. This one will add a nice kick. Yeah, this is what they're called. They're on Facebook, TikTok, and Instagram. And they have a bunch of flavors on their website. Super cool. So red chili. I got lemon pepper. Pepper, salt and pepper. Let's see. Green chili. Oh my god, this is gonna last me forever. Green chili lemon. Garlic. What else? Flaming hot Cheetos. And then I think I got one more. Let me see. Red chili lemon. Yeah, check them out if you like crunchy beef jerky. They are so crunchy. I wanna show you how crunchy they are. That's what they look like inside. Nice, crispy. Let's see. Ooh, this one. Look at them. These are the pieces. Mmm. There's a little salsa. Cooper's trying to steal it from me. Mmm. That's the way I like my beef jerky. I'm gonna try all the flavors and see if they're good.
I nailed the smell. You did. I really like that. This is Michelle's bowl, you guys. She's gonna try it. I'm so nervous. It looks amazing. We came home from walking the boys tonight and I'm going to rearrange this room once again because now after pulling out the table and being able to film in the studio a few times with the new setup, we have realized a few things that work and a few things that don't work. So first and foremost, I now hate the fact that this mirror is in front of the window. I love natural lighting and I love like opening the blinds <laughs> when I come into this room and that's been making me feel quite sad. So I think I'm going to just rotate the desk this way. So basically the same way that I had it but against that wall. The reason that I'm keeping this area pretty open is because when I film as you guys see sometimes I have to move my lights back and I'm actually adding two more lights in front of my filming setup for my mukbang. So I'm going to need more room to back it up here so I can't put my desk back here I was going to keep my desk like this but push it in the corner and then move my chair This way in the corner with a little table. That's also another option. I think we should try today I think that'll be cute like when people are standing out here when they look in they'll see the chair with the little table I think that would be a moment and also to sit by the window would be kind of relaxing so I don't know let's try the chair option first and then we'll go from there and then I don't think I'm filming a mukbang tomorrow and then I'm going out of town for a few days so I think I'm gonna end up pushing this table back where it was since I'm not using it let's play around and we'll see Do you guys, okay, <laughs> I don't know what to do. Do you guys like the chair crooked like this? Let me move this. I never noticed how big this chair was. So we can have it sideways, diagonally like this, or we can have it up against the wall. What do you think, Rocky? So this is the chair sideways. We could also do it, let me do it like this. And then put a little table right here. Excuse me. And then what do you guys think? And then I can put my vanity that way, in that corner. I think this might be best. <sighs> Another option is putting the table this way. Okay, I think I have to think about it. This is my inspo for this corner. I have this table from Target that I bought like three years ago. I thought this would be cute, like a little corner. I'm not gonna put this here, but I wanted to give you guys an idea of what it could be if we were to choose this option. Isn't it cute? I feel like when people walk in, it's like cute. <laughs> what do you guys think? Or should the chair be facing that way and we can put the thing here? Ah! Oh my God, I almost ate ah! Okay, I'm not wearing platform slippers anymore. Mm, I don't think I like that. You can also do this. Yeah. Yeah, we can do something like this. What do you guys think? That's nice. I actually like that. That's super nice. I can still get to the window. When you're standing in the hallway looking into the room, you see this and it's kind of cute. Excuse me, Casper. Imagine like a little footrest. Oh, hello. Yeah. I like this, guys. It's nice. Where's your brother? Where's brother Riley? Riley! Bonnie! Riley George! <laughs> Riley George! I like this, you guys. Because look, then, hey, don't fight. 
Because then mommy's got all this room. I think this is the winner. I think we can move the makeup desk over a little bit. We are finally done a few hours later and I finally decided what I wanted to do with the studio. And then you guys know what I realized? All I did was switch these two around. I was so proud of myself and then I stood here and I was like, wait a minute, the desk was over here, the chair was over here, that's all I had to do. So I actually moved things around a few times. I just didn't really want to show you guys because it was honestly so boring. And you guys probably are so bored of me rearranging this room to see what works. I think this is such a good idea after like using it a few times I realized that things just didn't work out in some areas, but this is perfect. We have the seating area here. I love this chair. This is from Six Penny. It's actually my filming chair when I would do Q and A's, and I still like it just in case I do Q and A's in the future. But also, I love it in this area as well, just to sit and lounge in the studio area. And then this table's from Target. I've had this for years. It used to be in my bathroom, but I switched it out, so now it belongs here. I'm gonna put flowers here. I gotta find some faux flowers that are really pretty because I can never keep flowers alive And then I moved my desk to this area And then I had like a little space for my rolling cart which holds all of my new makeup So I remember to use them and then skincare and cleaning products because I do fill my mukbangs And then over here is my mukbang filming table I have to get another booth here so I'm waiting for that to come in So when I film I'm gonna move the table out and then I have all of this room right here for the filming lights which will be really nice and then I have to go through and organize that so that looks neat you guys pretty much know what this room looks like this is what I have so far and it looks amazing possibly might get a rug here to eliminate some sound just so my video sound a little bit better but I don't know because I do like it the way it is just in case like food falls on the ground or something so we'll see if I'm able to find an affordable rug for the studio Carlos and I had tacos earlier and I have leftover tacos. I'm gonna have some of those. I wanted to show you the chewable tablet that I got for Riley. If you guys have been keeping up with Riley George, he's right here, that's Riley George. If you guys have been keeping up with Riley George, he's just been dealing with a, a leg joint situation that we have going on. So I found this and I wanted to try it out. If you guys have tried this, please let me know and also Thank you so much to everyone who has been sending us messages and giving your advice and personal stories that have happened to your pets. I read through each and every single one of them and it on honestly gave me so much input and like it perspective on certain things. So I'm definitely gonna try a few of the things that you guys shared with me. But yeah, I'm trying this. I will keep you guys updated and let you know how well this works for him. So I wanted to share that with you guys. But we are taking him to a vet to get a second opinion and then I'm gonna get a third opinion to see but the walks have been so great you guys we have been going on the walks again and the walks have been great they literally I am like whispering because I don't want to chance it oh, I like I don't want him to like go back to the limp thing but so far he's been so so good oh you guys want an S they're standing here because they want an S they know that this drawer is the S drawer and S means S N A C K S that's S I didn't make my smoothie today, so I kind of want to end the night with a smoothie. Oh my gosh, where are my tacos? Oh, oh, oh my gosh. Carlos and I have been eating Mexican food from this restaurant. I filmed a mukbang with Carlos earlier. I'll list the restaurant down below. So good. And then I'm going to make my smoothie and get some work done actually for the rest of the night. It's been a crazy, crazy week, but grateful to be alive. But yeah, thank you so much for your input on Riley's situation. I was, I thought I was kind of going insane last week about it yeah i'm gonna try i'm trusting my gut definitely getting a second and third vet's opinion and surgery will let be last case scenario i want to see what these other vets say before we move on and if they all say surgery 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 then that obviously makes sense i'm actually really interested in seeing what they say about his situation but i'm gonna eat these tacos oh my god they look so good also new area new corner in the kitchen 
What do you guys think? Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think of this corner. I thought the kitchen was looking too white. Like I kind of lived that life for a little bit where I was very minimal and wanted everything to be clean and like nothing on the counters. But I kind of like the minimal decorating. Like this is simple. We have the fish sauce and olive oil here with my favorite painting from Target. I believe everything at Target right now is 50% off home decor. So I'll try to find this. Hopefully it's still discounted, but I really like it. So cute. So then over here we did this. Do you guys like it? Let me know. I'm actually gonna make this dish next week because it looks delicious. So this book is from Home Goods, and then this tray is from Goodies LA, where everything is under $25, I believe. Yeah. And then this flower is from Target. This little wooden bowl is such a good find. I found it at Home Goods the other day with Michelle, and when we saw it, we literally screamed because it's so pretty. Like I just appreciate things like this. They're just so beautiful to have it in the house and just bring that like woody organic nature vibe into your home. This was $12 at Home Goods, and then these limes and lemons are actually real and I thought they'd be great for decor. Oh my goodness. You guys have to try this restaurant. They have like a few locations around. Ours is so, so good. So hopefully the one you go to is really good. I like my street tacos with extra cilantro and then I also like red radish, but they didn't have it. I don't like onions too much. Look at this, you guys. Wow. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. You know what food tastes so good like six hours later? Bomb. Garnet sada and pollo. So bomb. So many of you guys messaged me this week about the huge recall that Costco was having with the Daybreak Blend frozen fruit bag. Oh my gosh, you guys. When I saw that recall, I flipped out because we had just finished blending a whole entire bag this week and I had just thrown it away that morning and I was freaking out. Apparently there was like a, a hepatitis A breakout or something or in the bag. It was like this crazy thing. But anyways, if you read into the article, if you click on it and then you read the article, there are certain dates. Like I think if you bought the bag between April and June of 2022, which was last year, your expiration date would be 2023. And so those bags are the ones that are being recalled. And so I checked my bag and I looked at my receipt and I realized that I bought the bag last month, I believe. Yeah, last month or if like it was, it was like either last month or like two months ago. We're good. And mine expires 2024. So so I was like, I, I'm pretty sure I'm okay. <laughs> Cause only like those certain bags were like recalled, but I was freaking out. But thank you so much for sending me that. And it's so crazy cause I was just recommending the bag to you guys. So just be safe, check your bags. If they fit the, you know, the description in the article, just throw them away. 